it's John T for the Boxing Voice. I'm delighted to be joined by show regular uh, David Adelaide assistant trainer Eddie Kelly. How are you doing, Eddie? How are we doing, John? You good? Yeah, I'm good, mate. What have you been up to? Nothing. Just chilling, to be honest. Enjoying the time of boxing, really. Had a bit of a break, yeah? Mm, yeah, really. With the, from the pro side, back in the amateurs, it's good. Got to go up to Newcastle next week. One of our boys are boxing uh, in, the, in the finals, school finals. So, I'm up there again. I like the uh, David Adelaide club. How is David? He's good. He's good. You he think he's... Um, He's up uh, sparring. Um, I think he's up sparring Tyson Fury. Um, so, yeah, he's getting ready for his fight, isn't he? That's a good experience. So I, I noticed that Tyson Fury's not in Vegas training. I thought he'd be out there by now, but I saw, I think he was training, um, sparring with Johnny Fisher the other day as well. So he's Yeah, always- I think I think he's got Johnny Fisher up there, George Fox, then David um, in Morecambe, where, he's, where he lives. Ah, fair play. Well, look, we've got you on. It's fight week for the big AJ uh, Usyk card. But just before I come on to that, um, any news of when David might be out next? No, literally, I spoke to Frank. I spoke to Frank the other day. He was going up. He's doing some. Uh, he's got to do some filming up at uh, Manchester or something. He's still telling me, but he's literally just waiting, just waiting for the day, mate. As soon as we know, everyone else will know, I suppose. Yeah, another good win last time out. I know the fight before it kind of went the distance. It was very close. And um, Yeah, he answered all his critics, I believe, in his last fight. He answered them all. Yeah, Flying I colours, in my opinion. Yeah. He's never been stopped. This guy's never again been stopped. Never been stopped with a headshot. Got stopped with a headshot. Yeah, uh, definitely he's definitely a answer, yeah. return, 100%. Well, we look forward to seeing him soon. So, look, big fight week, as I mentioned. So, Joshua Usyk, we're getting the experts on yeah. there. You, just to sort of, like, get the breakdown of the fight. What are your thoughts on fight week, do you think that AJ wins it? And how do you think he wins? If he does. The do you say getting the experts on and then doing me first? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you first, mate. You got it. Uh, no, yeah, no. Um, it's going to be... I, I, listen, I think everyone keeps saying about size, size this, size that. But my only opinion in on music is last time he fought his aura, he didn't have a great performance. He bots well, you know what I mean? But he didn't have a great performance. Um, but that's two totally different styles. You know, Chisora is what you see, you know. He, he will come forward and lay on you and suffocate you. Whereas I think, um, I think personally, from what I've seen, Joshua's going to try and box him and land the backhand if it, if he needs it. But I think he's going I think he's going to try and box him on the back foot and then pin him with the right hand when he steps in, when he tries to step in to land his backhand. But um, my opinion is that you can't write Usyk off. He's... Um, was he, I think he's the first ever in history to be to hold four major titles at a uh, cruiserweight, you know. So he ain't he ain't an easy pushover. But um I don't know, everyone can say that size, but I just think ability and skill lies with Usyk, definitely. And um yeah, I think he's got the harder fight, I think. Anthony Joshua's got the harder fight out of Fury and Wilder and Joshua and Usyk. I think he's got the harder one, definitely. So in my opinion. My opinion, I think UC beats him. You, you do. That's what I was just about to come on yeah. to. I was going to say, so you actually yeah. think going to win. That's quite interesting. Yeah. So you would be in the minority there, certainly because most people we're speaking to are talking about that size. But I, I totally yeah. understand what you said in terms of boxing skills. I think it, from his skills, he's got to be up there as one of the pound for pound. It's just there is quite so a size difference. So skillful. But yeah, like I say, he's, he, listen, it could be one thing. He'll come out and probably plant the right hand, bang, gone. See you later. I'm wrong, you know, but. I don't know. I just don't. I don't see it. I see him. He's a little bit too clever from from, um, from what I think. I think he'd be too smart for Joshua. He could set him up, land the backhand through the middle, and it it could be. Yeah, we all know Joshua hasn't got the best chin in the world. Mm. You know, most of the fights he's had, he's lost to well, the ones he lost to. He lost to a, a smaller guy. You know, uh, Andy Ruiz come back and then totally bust on the back foot. Didn't do nothing for the whole fight. In my opinion, I just think. The smaller guy he'll struggle with, and he's um, I think Ruiz was six foot two, he's six foot three. Uh, Usyk, so I think listen, he's he, he can he's good, he's the real deal. I think Usyk, he hasn't won a room title for no reason. We'll, we'll we'll find out in a couple of days at the weigh in, but what are your thoughts looking at AJ? He does look like he's maybe lost a little bit of that muscle. Do you think that might be because he thinks he's got to move around a bit and try and catch Usyk? Yeah, I think I think that that's that that doing the world of good losing the weight. I think that that muscle too much muscle. Um, 
I think because he knows he's going to have to be up on his toes, moving away, moving away all the time. When as you get tired, oxygen's got to feed your muscles. You know, it's 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 going to suffocate him, I suppose, with his movement. But um, if he, he feels if he loses a weight, if he had to move up on his toes a lot more and his footwork is you know a bit clever. But I just think he's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit road bike for um, Usyk. Sure. Well, look, we'll find out on a Saturday night. So thanks for that one. Well, while we've got you as well, I know it's a couple of weeks away still after, but you mentioned you think um, Joshua's got the harder fight. What are your predictions yeah. for Wilder um, and Fury number three? Um, uh, see, my, my, my brain of thought was Fury was totally dominating, bullying, throwing him around the ring, Manhandle him, hit him around the back of the head, rough him up, and he won't like it. And that's what I think he will do. But it's it's, it's the same again. You've got to watch out for that right hand because he has got he has got a great right hand. Um, but if can he get off when you're that close to him? And I don't think he will be able to. Um, I think yeah, he's only got to really worry about the backhand. That's all he's got to worry about because we know he you know he ain't going to knock him out of the left hook, and I don't think so. Um, so I think that's why Fury's got it a bit easier because Fury can adapt better to fighters. He can, he, he's more like the Usyk, but an heavyweight, natural heavyweight Usyk. You know, he can move, he can switch it, he can, he can, he plays with his head. He, he, he enjoys it. You can see he's enjoying it, and he's got power to put your lights out. And um, I think, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. I still go with Fury. I think Fury wins that one. I think he's got the easier fight of them both, but he has to be careful with that backhand. And um, Put his foot on the gas straight away, given given no time. Yeah, good analysis. To be fair, I mean, after the last fight, for a lot of people, it's hard to say that Wilder wins. Do you think that I'm, I'm sure Wilder didn't overlook Fury in the last fight, and it was very convincing. Even Wilder's biggest fan couldn't argue that he got beat fair and square. But he proved yeah. in the first fight, although that was a draw, and some again would say that Fury won that. He proved he can get yeah. to him, knock him down. Do you think that he might have gone away, licked his wounds? He's been very quiet in terms of training. He's not been as loud as normal. Do you think you might see yeah. a wounded? Wilder and it may be a bit different. He's got a new trainer as well in Malik Scott. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can teach an old dog new new tricks. I think he's too he was always set in his ways. There's no there's no difference. He's just done a different training camp with another man. Um my personal opinion, he's probably tried adding things. It's all for show. I mean, I see, I see some body work thing he was doing the other day, and then the next clip was him being sick, the um coach. As if to say his body shots are ripping and it's embarrassing, really. But I just think no, he has. He has, He won't change. There's one thing he won't do. He won't change because um, it seems like to eat, instead of coming out and taking a loss and going, I lost fair and square. That shows me he's not mature enough to be able to be taught because he's not mature enough to accept a loss. So he's not mature enough to, to be taught, in my opinion. Um, I think he's gone away. He's kept quiet. He's licked his wounds. He made a lot. He made a load of noise about the gloves. That didn't work. That excuse. Another excuse, this excuse, that excuse. Um, I feel, I'm hoping, to be fair, he comes out and absolutely obliterates Wilder. I'm hoping. Because he's not really what you want to see in a sport, in my opinion. That's fair enough. And um, a $64 million question. I think I know where the answer's going, just purely from your answer on the first question of Joshua Usyk. Should it be Joshua Fury then in the later part of the year or probably next year now, if it happens? Yeah. Who, who, who wins that for you and gets the overall bragging rights? Um, I think it's an easier fight for Fury than Wilder would be, personally. I think I think he just he, he's got AJ's number, even though they've not boxed. He's got he knows he knows he's going to beat him. He he he, meant, he knows I think he knows AJ knows he's going to beat him. Um, do I think he'll happen? I don't think it's going to happen. I just don't see it happening that fight. Just don't see yeah, it happening. Do you not think it might happen a few years down? Someone was asking me today and I was like, Mayweather Pacquiao happened at the end. I think yeah. there's too much money there, maybe three, four years down I the think, line. It didn't happen sooner. I think the longer it goes on, the better it will suit Joshua, I believe, because I, I think he's more of an athlete when you look at him. Um, so I think he'll suit him better. The longer it goes on for the drama show, the signing of the contracts, everything will suit Joshua because... Um, I think Fury, he's like, he, he's, he can get bored quite easy by the looks of it. And he, he might not train hard and he might not put the effort in. Do you know what I mean? You don't know, you don't know, but I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, I just think Fury beats him all. I don't think anyone can touch him out there. 
I think they've done a good thing, Eddie Earn and um, Andy Joshua, keep making it look like it's, it's Fury. But at the end of the day, his contract's a contract. Wilder held the contract, you know, to fight again. He's within his right to add that fight. Does he need it? I don't think so because there's no, he has no chance, I think, of beating uh, Fury in this next fight. But listen, if it happens, Fury stops uh, AJ better easier than he stops. Um, Wilder, in my opinion. Excellent. Good analysis. Well, look, thanks for that, mate, as always. Really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, I'm sure you'll be watching Fight Night in a couple of days, like the rest of us. Yeah. Once I finish with the school, I was on the Watch It the School Championship. And I'll be watching that, tuning in right in. Top man. Thanks, Eddie. All the best, mate. Cheers, John. Thanks. Appreciate that. Bye bye. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.